ThinkPair Share is another one of those informal but really handy strategies to use within your classroom. It can be used across grades, across content area. Some teachers call it turn and talk. But essentially what it involves is a teacher stopping at some important point in the lesson and asking students to think about what that content means for them. Then turn to a partner and pair and talk with their partner about what it is. And then the teacher opens the floor and asks students to share. I want to talk to you about a strategy called Think, Pair, Share. We do it all the time. Put your hands down for a minute. We also do turning and talking. Sometimes Ms. Doyle says turn and talk to a friend. The best part about Think, Pair, Share is the first part, the part about thinking. Because if you give yourself a minute to think about what you what was read to you or what you just read, collect your thoughts, then you go and share, then there's two people here who have a lot to share, don't they? They have a lot. Can you tell me some of the rules? Because we do have rules and we practice this and we modeled the right way to think, pair, share and the wrong way, especially the partner part. So can somebody tell me one of the rules Quick and clearly, Deja. If you don't have a partner, join a two. And this is the good way to um, partner, to get elbow, elbow, and knee to knee. You could either be elbow and elbow and knee to knee, <clears throat> or you could do what? Is there another way that you could partner up so I could just glance yeah. at you and I know who your buddy is? Maya? You can just um, turn, to, turn to someone quickly and just start thinking and talking. So turn to someone who's near you. You don't walk right across the room. Now let's see Miss Doyle's class demonstrate the strategy using a nonfiction text. So the title of this book is An Egg is Quiet. It's by Diana Aston, and the illustrator is Sylvia Long. An egg is quiet. This is a black-necked stilt egg. It sits there under its mother's feathers, on top of its father's feet, buried beneath the sand. Look at it on the feet of the emperor penguin. This is Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, warm, cozy. An egg is colorful. I'm gonna read you a couple of these. This is the lobster egg. This is the brewer's sparrow. I want you to stop for a minute and I want you to think about this story that I'm reading to you. A couple of days ago, I read to you the book, A Seed is Sleepy. I want you to think for a minute. I'm gonna ask you a question and before you turn to a partner, I want you to really think about the question. How is this book similar to A Seed is Sleepy? I want you to compare the two books in your mind. How are they similar? Thumbs up when you have an idea. Okay, now I want you to turn and talk to someone near you. Seed is sleepy and the egg is quiet, right? Also, eggs and seeds don't make no sounds. Only if you like throw them in like the water or, or somewhere, they can make sounds. Well, yeah, some seeds, so all seeds are like kind of like not white. They're kind of like dark. So you think the seeds are colorful and different, and the eggs are colorful and different. Okay, keep talking to each other. What other things make the books similar and what makes the books different? Because seeds can't talk and eggs can't talk. So that makes them similar, the right? The difference between <coughs> seeds and eggs are seeds grow flowers and eggs don't. Eggs don't grow flowers, that's true. Okay. I'm going to do something so that we can keep it kind of fair. I want to I wanna just call on groups partners and groups randomly. Um, Margo. Well, I said they both kind of look the same and they, they mostly um, both have something inside of them and Moya said this, um, it's like the eggs are sleeping and um, the seeds are sleeping too. Okay, so there was some yeah. sleepiness with both the egg yeah. and with the seed. Bella, what did you and your partner talk about? We all agreed that we thought that it was the same author. It said in the book that an egg is 
clever, and then in the book about seeds, it says a seed is clever. And so you think, you had some clues that you think the authors are the same, and guess what? The authors are the same. <coughs> Think Pear shares a quick strategy that can be used in the classroom. The design of it, where students think and then pair and then share, is good for those students who sometimes are reluctant to add their voice to the conversation, but by having that extra moment to think about it and share with a friend before talking to the whole class, you may be able to engage some of your students that are less likely to be a part of the conversation.